Because of the serious, often life-threatening risks involved in testing a brand new therapy in people for the first time, Building 10 is one of the only hospitals in the world with such a strong emphasis on this earliest phase of clinical research. Because of Building 10's intense focus on making the medicine of tomorrow, the discoveries that have emerged from its labs have helped to form the bedrock of modern medicine, from the first gene therapy to some of the most effective treatments for cancer. Sibo. He came off the ventilator, so I want to check in with him a little bit and give him some updates on his status. Nine days ago, Dr. Terry Fry gave Bo Cooper an experimental infusion of genetically modified immune cells, or CAR T cells, in the hope that they would target and kill Bo's leukemia. But that infusion nearly killed him, forcing Dr. Fry to give Bo steroids. The question now is whether those steroids also halted those CAR T cells. Hey, you decided to come off the ventilator? Yeah, that was too much, man. Is that your decision? Not really. Infect's <laughs> decision. How you doing? Good. Just a stand today, a little exercising. What I'm sure is left and sort of residual in your mind is, you know, what about the CAR T cells? What we're going to do is we're going to look tomorrow at the CAR T cells in your blood, you know, and that'll give us a better feel for whether there's anything starting to happen with the expansion. I certainly would expect to see something, but the whole wild card in all this is, is not knowing how the doses of the steroids will affect all of that. Yeah. Okay? No one knows if the genetically modified immune cells remain active in Bo. No one has been here before. Cold, Yeah, you're shivering a little bit, you look like. Oh, yeah. yeah. The first hopeful sign that Bo's treatment is still alive within him will ironically be if he gets sick. When immune cells fight infection, they release cytokines, which are proteins that help fight the infection. So in many respects, I mean, cytokine release syndrome is a mimic of what happens with severe infection, influenza as an example. Dr. Fry hopes that the CAR T cells he infused into Bo will expand and target his leukemia, creating what is called a cytokine storm. It will cause fever, inflammation, and flu-like symptoms. Which means that for this first in human trial to be a success, Bo Cooper may need to get sick again. Now we just got to see if the cells, you know, expand and do their thing. Okay. Going. Good way of looking at it. But remember, I mean, if that happens, it could be that your fever starts going up and, you know, those sorts of things start kicking back in. We'll just have to see. Okay. All right, stay out of trouble today. Over the next couple of days, we'll just be monitoring closely for you know any evidence of the cytokine storm, and that would be you know fever, that would be a lowering of his blood pressure again, you know possibly even a worsening of the of his respiratory status. Getting sick in some ways is the ultimate response, but you know we'll just have to see whether he tolerates that. One week ago, Lucy Weiss received an experimental bone marrow transplant. Now she and her doctors can do nothing but wait. So right now, Lucy's in that phase where her own bone marrow is disappearing and is pretty much gone. And we're waiting for that new bone marrow to grow inside of her. But it's like a seed. You know, you have to plant it, and it, it may turn into a tree eventually, but it takes time. Right now, looking at the blood counts, you can't tell that there's a new bone marrow there. And it'll be another week or so until that new bone marrow shows up. Everything's going according to plan. Mm -hmm. It's just a tough plan. Yeah. So Lucy, did you meet your barber? Hi. Hi. 
The chemotherapy that wiped out Lucy's bone marrow to make way for her mother's healthy immune system has also destroyed the cells in her hair follicles. Her hair was starting to thin a little bit, and they knew that it was going to continue to fall out more. So we decided, with, with Lucy's consent, to go ahead and shave it all off so that she's not dealing with clumps of hair falling out. When it comes out, it might be kind of itchy and scratchy. So Lucy, he's going to kind of buzz, cut your hair all the way off, all right? Yeah. How old are you, Lucy? Seven. Seven? Oh, my goodness. Are you married? No. Oh, OK. OK. Let's see, now we have another thing in common. Yes, you and Daddy look the same. It's an adjustment. It was an adjustment watching it happen. I, I think she looks beautiful, but definitely is, it's an outward sign of what she's going through. So that's probably the, the hardest thing. Can I feel it? Mm-hmm. All right. Really oh, bad Lucy, that's just how my hair feels. Last night was really rough on her. This morning is really rough. A couple of reactions are headaches and nausea. Deidre has been experiencing that nonstop. I'm extremely excited at the possibility of having my, having my friend and my partner back. It's very easy to feel like you, you are a nurse and not a spouse. You don't have the partner you fell in love with. It definitely puts a strain on our relationship. But because you love that person so much and you care about them, you do what you need to do and you, you take care of them. You OK? Yeah. Those first two days, it was off the pain charts. My kidney, it was like somebody was in there just squeezing it, squeezing it. But I would do it again knowing that I'm doing it in order to be free of sickle cell. I'll go through that fire again. I'm proud of you. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you, too. Being away from the kids, I'm not taking this lightly. You always been supportive, though. You took on a big role at an early age to be a caregiver of somebody with a chronic disease. Most people would have ran from that, and you didn't. He's my baby mama. You were there before the babies, and yeah. you know it. We got hope. This is hope. This is something I never thought, ever. We got my step. Hi, Miss Williams. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. So are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. OK, you can just follow me. Deidre Williams will now undergo the second part of Dr. Tisdale's conditioning regime, low doses of radiation that will only partially eliminate her bone marrow so as to make space for her sister Tanisha's donor cells. We want your shoulders stretched down, your chin up. I might need to do this to help my double chin. <laughs> I'm really proud of her. She was initially nervous going into this whole procedure. And, man, she's been extremely brave and strong and courageous. All right, Lucy, why don't you pause that, sweetie? OK? We're going to go. I think they're going to take you down for your bronchoscopy, OK? Hey, Lucy. Lucy, listen, remember, what did we talk about? This? Why not? What's wrong? I do it. Hey, Lucy, listen to me for a minute. It, it sounds scarier than it's going to be, I promise. Lucy Weiss's doctor's worst fears have been realized. Her damaged lung is badly inflamed. <coughs> we really worry about infections in the transplant setting because the immune system, you know, you knock out the, the person's own immune system, you put one back in, but while they're sort of crossing in the night, the house is uncovered. And you really have a lot of risk there. Okay, 
for Lucy to grapple with why does she have to go through these really hard things. That's been hard to see. You never know if what you're doing is going to pan out and be beneficial for Lucy. And there are a lot of unknowns, but perhaps you can change the way across the nation or even across the world people practice medicine. Let's see what we got on Lucy's bronchoscopy here. We're looking for black things that are clearly mold. Oh. Well, there's plenty of mold and plenty of inflammation. This is a mold, and you see around it all this inflammatory reaction that means that the cells know that there's a problem, but they're really having trouble getting rid of it. And there's a lot of it. So the transplant did work. She's got the cells that we wanted in there. And now that new bone marrow has to clean up what was left behind. The problem is that there's a fight going on in her lung. 